from what they're saying. El disrespecto. He was done the Spanish press. They didn't face off until the wing. Purposely stay away from each other. Now they're in the ring. They got to go toe to toe. I think Anadi looks more relaxed in this fight than the first time they fought. More confident. But in that distance. I think when, when Canelo flashes that jab, he does land. If you look on the, the right cheek bone of, of Gennady. Another one for Canelo. He's got the speed. Overhand right from Gennady. Jab from Canelo. Wild swing and a miss. Countered by Canelo nicely. No. Think, think, think. Check left from Gennady. Doubling, tripling the jab. Doing able to catch his axe with the feints. So the folks. Canelo loads up with a left. Started from his hip. It ended on the right cheekbone of Gennady Golovkin. I was in shoot. I don't see much difference in preparation here, but I do see Abel with the knockout. That's so, what Abel Sanchez told them. See, so the thing is here, yeah, G's got to have a, a more step to the side. Kid in the first fight, Canelo standing right there. in his body because you leave your head exposed. Not if you bend your knees. <laughs> if you bend your knees, you get down there. So don't reach down, bend down. You see, can I let us see Triple G breathing a little bit, a little bit wild. Look it out, look it out. Right? It's on. Y aquí, cerrado, cerrado. The love can lands a, a compact left hook that's almost like a power jab. Knocks the head. Perez, turn pro 15. He's fought some of the best in, the, in his sport. Like you mentioned it all week long. Well, some fighters that have to allow the love can to apply his usual pr pressure. Much more aggressive Canelo Alvarez than we saw a year ago. They go downstairs. Neither man is going downstairs. This has been a good round for Triple G. Yes, he's actually circling the younger man who is remaining in the from Golovkin, but it's interesting. It's all about adjustment. And this has been a hotly contested round. Slipping punches. 25 seconds. G, though, G could take another shot. So we got to see. It's back and forth. It's turning into a great fight. And it's heating up, getting better and better. The Mobile Arena, Las Vegas. Close quarters. Triple G misses with the jab. Comes back and lands a not 100% flush right uppercut because Canelo turned with it, but it was I. What this? What both men need to do. They're not even off again. That's his accommodation. He's to come back with the jab. That's number one. What Canelo needs to do is the same thing I'm telling Gennady Golovkin to do. Come back with his jab. They're both all doing power shots. Nobody's correcting their body. Nobody's the Canelo fans. And mind you, there are a lot of Mexicans that are also Gennady Golovkin fans. They're not seeing the Mexican. It's just so hard to put the combination together against either fighter. Canelo swinging here to speed. Five seconds. That part is done, Andy. Canelo falls short of his jab, eats a stiff jab from Golovkin, who misses with the hook. Canelo misses with the right uppercut. Both men thrown with bad intentions. Canelo comes over the top with an overhand right, lands right to the left temple of Triple G. Yeah, you gotta start backing him up. Abel wants him to fight like they train. Start back. Canelo to stand his ground as much as he has in this game match? No, uh, what happened was Canelo is sticking the game plan. That's what he's doing. It could throw. Sometimes Triple G got the left hand, and Canelo got the left hand. Good back and forth action between Canelo Alvarez and Gennady Golovkin with the middleweight belts on the line. Referee Benjamin Seven warns them up, slight favorite. The biggest odd was would there be a draw? 17 to 1 is what I saw. Bob shot for Canelo. Final seconds of the round. Tyson Canelo is getting more confident. It's coming harder for G to be effective. 
Smoke. He's the faster fighter, and he's definitely boxing and punching with more confidence. You see the younger fighter taking control. There's Canelo Alvarez. Moving Canelo. That's what you want to see. This man gets broken. They're engaging. Um, I, I guess they a little bit winded now. Yeah. But can Gennady Golovkin take advantage of it? Step around with the ball. This might be the most we've ever seen. Lanty shot from Golovkin. A bleed here in the seventh round. Both guys showing some really nice craft. Not just with their, their offense, but with their footwork. Forehead to forehead. The right uppercut finds its mark to the chin of Canelo Alvarez. Alvarez comes back with the right cross. 